Hey everybody, welcome back to All Night Gaming. Gonna take a look at a game that I've been spending a lot of time messing around with. It's called Cannonballs 3D. You can actually play this on YouTube. Do a search for online games. Or you can find it on Google Play as well. Basically, you're gonna get a bunch of different puzzles and you want to demolish them within the counter that you get. So right now we've got three attempts to bring all of this structure not only down, but off of the platform. These in particular are supposed to replicate cement blocks. There are going to be different styles of materials. You'll have cement blocks, you'll have wood blocks, you'll have glass and steel. And each of them really works well from a physics standpoint. Obviously, steel will put up more of a fight. It's heavier, harder to move. You have to look at the entire structure and how it is aligned to figure out the best attack. Here's the other thing. Once you get used to a certain puzzle, the next time you see it, it might not be the same point of view. So right now, we're kind of looking at this thing from one angle. The next time it rolls around, the angle may be different. And now you can't hit the same spots and get the same results. So it's a pretty good game. It's simple. Anyone can do it. And it's fun. Now, I generally believe in starting at the bottom on most of these. Not all of them, but most of them. And again, that cement is being stubborn. Look at that. The three shots didn't even take it out. Normally, it does. You can play this on your mobile app, but I find it's normally easier on the PC because the mouse will give you much more accurate hits. And there it goes. Now, in the meantime, for every block that you take off, you gain points here. And once you hit 100%, you'll have the ability to launch bombs, but only three of them. So you want to use them wisely. In this case, we've got the wood blocks with the glass tops, and we have three attempts to get them all off. I always try to hit right at a joint. It gets it a little bit of a pop. It has a little bit of action on it, and that'll do a lot more damage, generally speaking. And that's what happens when you don't have enough. All right. Then you have to go all the way back to the first puzzle in the line. Once you clear the entire line, you'll go up to the next level. Okay, what just happened there? Okay, I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> we broke the game. Congratulations. I mean, the button works there. That's wild. Never seen that. Let's give it another shot. There it goes. Again, the physics on this game are extraordinarily accurate. When you first start out, the puzzles are pretty basic and simple, and then as you progress, you'll start getting these rotating walls and a few other obstacles you have to negotiate as well. So here you have a bunch of glass, and behind it, cement. You have to determine the best attack. It's hard to tell, and it's even harder on a mobile device, but these are actually circular and these are square. So by hitting the edges of the circular one, you'll get a little bit more action off of the cannonball. Here is what we call the final puzzle of the level, and you're always going to successfully take this down because you have infinite cannonballs to do so. You can either just unload on it and take it down, or you can get a little bit of strategy going on and get more familiar with how these different elements react. They also generally come with anywhere up to 30 to 50 points towards your bomb.
Now you might think automatically by hitting the TNT block it's going to knock everything off. It'll take out a lot of damage, but that's not always your best attack. In this case, it probably is. As it took out that one that I missed, and now I have one shot left. I like to hit these things in the top because it gives it a little bit more flip action and that does more damage. We're looking at all cement. Now at this point, if I need to, I have my bombs, but I really want to save those for one of the tougher puzzles that'll eventually be coming up. Now I have a choice, and my choice was to start from the bottom again and work my way up. Because this is not a tough puzzle, I just wasn't focused on it. And I know that I'll need those bombs for something more difficult, so... If I want to use it, I just have to click on it. After you use it one time, then you have to go back and rebuild. There are times where you want to fire at random and other times where you want to be very deliberate. up to the next level we are two away from level 1000 now there are certain puzzles that'll give you a timer it can be frustrating you can have them all knocked up in the air and falling down but if they don't hit the ground in time it'll say that you failed Certain elements of this game are very similar to a bowling alley. You want to hit the head pin and then you get a lot more action off of that and it's the same basic concept with this. We're on the final puzzle of 97. We will be at level 998 and two away from a thousand. When you have a single plank like this, you want to get a helicopter effect on it. It does a lot more damage and it'll bring down a large portion of the structure. Now if we look closely here, we'll see the glass is up front, but behind it is steel. And as you can see, the steel is stubborn. It's staying up there. Much like bowling, just hit this thing straight down the middle and down they go. This one right here is being played on the YouTube app. I'll try and get a link for the game on Google and I'll put it in the description box. Once we clear this puzzle, we will have reached level 1000. These are kind of like dominoes, and I can tell you right now, this is a stubborn puzzle, and it's a lot harder on the mobile app. But let me see if I can do this without the aid of the explosives. Because who knows what other puzzles are going to lead to 1000. I got a feeling they're going to make me earn this. In the same logic, I'm trying to get a lot of spin action on these things. Now, this guy laying down is going to be a problem. Yep. At this point, I'm just going to get and take my bomb. And just like that, we're going to do it. That was a good use of the bomb. I 
I don't know what it is about this game. It just, I find it mesmerizing. Have a great time playing this thing. I think you will too. I'm going to do this one because to me, I think this is the toughest one they give you because you get four shots and it might look like with all the TNT blocks, you're good to go. I assure you, it's not that easy. You have to hit this point right here which again with a mouse is a lot more accurate and the reason you hit it in it right here is because you want to make sure you pop this block because what it does a lot of times is it'll go way up in the sky and then it'll land back on the base and now you've just wasted a shot notice how it went straight up even though i caught it on the corner and it almost landed on the base we got lucky though it didn't do it same thing here you want to catch it on the side one more time and then last but not least it's a lot tougher on the mobile app i'll tell you that but for me i'll say that oh forgot about that well i'm gonna get to do it all over again because i wasn't paying attention yeah that went straight up didn't it that's what happens and because i didn't get enough kick off of that it's not going to happen this time that happens more times than you would believe it, it's a frustrating map there's no way out of this sometimes you're able to get a little bit of a ricochet but not on that one they were way too far apart now that one got launched into orbit and we missed the bottom block. So unless I can take it out with this, which I doubt, we're done. And that's why this is the toughest puzzle of the bunch. You just can't. It, it's got to be perfect. It is the least forgiving of all of them, that's for sure. Again, we have this long plank here. I want to get a helicopter effect on that as much as I can. I only have one left, and I was hoping this one was going to roll off. I'm going to go ahead and use the bomb since I'm not going to go beyond this one. Almost identical to the one we just had a moment ago. Well, this is going to be a problem. Oh, it's almost impossible now. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, that is Cannonball 3D. It's a lot of fun. Again, you can play it right here on YouTube or you can find it on Google. I will try and link a description in the box below. Let me know what you think of this game and I'll catch you next time for more on All Night Gaming.